Hello my scrappy friends, it is Jess here from the Scrappy Sisters and thank you for joining me for a Kidaholics Kits design team layout. Now I love this pink love heart paper. So I have gutted out my paper and used it to mat a plain white piece of paper. I have then taken the super cute Lindy's paint sprays that came in the mixed media kit. I'm doing a little dash of each color. Now you should probably do this in a box. The awesome pizza boxes that Steph sends are perfect for spritzing inside of just to keep the excitement of the spritz contained. I didn't do that and therefore got quite a bit of mess. So I definitely recommend keeping it inside the box. Now I only did a teeny tiny little spritz. I only wanted to add a little bit of color, but you guys look at how shiny that is in the background. Like that is delightful. Those sparkles, the shimmer on that is just amazing. So you can see with some of the inside paper, I have gone ahead and cut out some hexagons. Now I um, literally traced these off my iPad, just put a piece of paper on top of my iPad and traced them in two different sizes and have then used that size. To, like I created a template and then just cut them out by hand from that size. I went to a wedding on the weekend and I am using the photo booth photos. So the photos themselves are of terrible quality, but it's definitely something I want to document and remember. And they're just super, super fun. So I've just laid them out how I'm going to be setting them out. And I'm just figuring out where I want to put the smaller hexagons. And you can see I've kind of tried to keep their colors in line with the color like around the border, like so where it would be if it was inside the actual 12 by 12 paper. I just think that looks cute to coordinate the colors into that sort of line-ish area. So that is going well. I've then popped my photos up on foam and glued those down. So the one in the center, I have kept the little, um, like whose wedding it was and the date of the wedding on attached to it. And that's on the middle one because the bride is in those photos. The other ones are just my cousins and my parents and I. Um, and so I just cut that off the bottom. I just didn't feel it was necessary. It was actually a little bit distracting. Um, on the page. So I definitely wanted to keep one because it is important and it definitely is like the main part of the story, but I didn't think I needed it on all five. And I'm actually quite happy with that decision because I think it kind of draws your eye to that center one to explain what's going on. And it also gives me a little bit of a, um, uh, like, a, I don't know, a platform, a designated area to pop m some of my clusters, which was super handy. So I'm just doing three floral clusters with the super cute floral pack that came in the kit. Uh, gorgeous. Just trying to keep the colors coordinated as best as I can within the clusters themselves, as well as within the layout. There are two clusters that are basically identical. And then that top cluster is just a little bit different, but enough the same that it all ties in together. So once I have done that, I'm just going to speak ahead of the camera for a second because I actually didn't film the last like three minutes. Well, I did, but I somehow managed to put my camera into like super slow-mo and it just makes no sense. So I had to delete that part of the filming process. So what I did in just the last few minutes is to pop on my title, which is magical moments that I got off the thicker sheet that came in the kit, as well as some of the super cute puffy hearts. I added those to each of the clusters. And then I put some black and gold splatters on. So do keep a lookout of that um, when you're checking out the close-up photos at the end. I hope you have enjoyed using this kit this month. This kit was super cute. I really loved it. I did pull some more of that same Good Stuff collection um, in with it just to sort of use up more of that stash. Uh, but I just loved this kit. I thought it was super, super fun this month. And I'm really looking forward to April's kit as well. Stay tuned because you know Reveal is coming up any minute around the corner for April's kit, which is going to be awesome. So uh, thank you so much for watching. I have got some close-ups coming at you right now um, where you will be able to see the title and everything down the bottom also. I hope you have a 
fabulous scrappy week everybody um so yeah this is my last layout for this month and then we will move into april coming up in just a day around the corner thanks everyone have a happy scrappy week and i'll see you next time bye